Standard Hotel in Minneapolis, and we have Daniel Robinson, who is a representative of the Family Quality Council. And we just had a great breakfast, and we'd like to just say hi to everybody. Daniel. Hello. Can you tell us a little bit about what the Family Equality Council does for our who don't know? Sure, so uh, Family Equality Council is a national organization uh, that's dedicated to ensuring the equality of LGBT families uh, by building community, changing hearts and minds, <laughs> and advancing the social justice for all families. That's our mission statement, and what that really uh, comes out uh, comes out meaning is we, we do community events across the country uh, to bring LGBT families together. We uh, work to change policy at the federal, state, and local levels. And uh, we really work to make our community as inclusive as possible and raise the visibility of our, of our parents and their families. So what would be a sample of some of the events that you guys work Sure, so a lot of people will be familiar with our family week out in Phoenix and P-Town, which we hold every uh, first week of August every year. We also do an event out here in Palm Springs uh, in uh, October, which we didn't do this year because we wanted to support the National Equality March. So, um, and then we also do um, you know, now you're putting me on the spot. Family camps. Uh, we have an office in Minnesota that organizes family camps uh, for our Midwest uh, supporters. So that's the sort of things that we do. Awesome. And tonight's event, uh, we know that we're going to be awarded for, for what is What's the overall theme of tonight's event and why do you guys pull this? Sure. So uh, this event is really about celebrating a year of progress. Uh, as it is every year, it's an annual event for us. Uh, and you know, we are, you know, our families and Family Equality Council work very hard every year to, you know, move forward uh, towards full equality. And it's really about coming together to sort of mark a, another year's work of progress. And we like to honor those people who have sort of been at the forefront of that progress. And that's why you guys are here tonight. Great. Okay, everybody, we've had a great day, and I, I know I'm really nervous because giving a speech in front of about 275. I don't think that's anything versus the thousands of viewers that didn't see this video. <laughs> <laughs> Still, uh, when they videotape it tonight, you might watch me faint. Uh, we'll see you later. Bye. Please turn your attention to the stage and welcome the co-chair of the board of directors of Family Equality Council and chair of tonight's event, Kim Bergman.
like me and Daniel Bryan. Come on. And Daniel and, and Celia are biological brother and sister. And, you know, she just has always only known two dads. Tango was the very first penguin in the zoo to have two daddies. They have shown the world that LGBT families share the same love and joy as all families. And we knew that this is the person I'm going to be with the rest of my life through good and bad. This is the man I, I want to die with when I'm old. You know, when you get to that point of your relationship and you know this is the person you love more than anything else in the world, more than yourself, then you can talk about having kids. Our life, our relationship is a million times better because of our kids. Thank you. And that they share the same bumps in the road. Daniel broke his arm at the beginning of the week at school and uh, that lead us, you know, we were at the, he broke two bones. The Lefews have shown that LGBT families value marriage and family, but they are not given equal access to those rights. We, we protest and we let the world know that we're not just going to sit back and, and be treated as second second class citizens. Most importantly, the Lefews have helped change hearts and minds by sharing their family story and demonstrating that what unites us is far greater than what divides us. We are uh, getting ready to go to church, and then we're going to go bowling. We have our own traditions as a family, and we also celebrate the National Day of Prayer. And we want to thank everybody for taking a few moments to enjoy our balloon tradition and our family. So, thank you. Who would you like to send you for Help us welcome Jay, Brian, Daniel, and Selena to the stage. Thank you, everybody. Uh, regardless of what we do there on YouTube, we are not public speakers, so please bear with us. <laughs> thank you, everyone, and on behalf of all of us, we would like to thank the Family Equality Council for selecting us for this uh, incredible honor. And uh, like the Family Equality Council, we understand working to advance the cause of GLBTQ families. We began showing our lives on YouTube in response to the passage of Prop A. At that time, we were so angered and disappointed and saddened at the outcome of that election that we needed to channel those emotions somewhere. In searching the internet for stories of gay families, we were shocked to discover how little there was out there on the day-to-day -day realities of what it means to be a gay family. So we decided it was time to show them who we are. We hope that in showing our family in such a personal way that we could dispel some of the myths and fear that many people have about the gay community and about gay people raising children. We believe that in showing the daily life of our family, that we can help people understand that they weren't simply voting on some abstract idea, but that they were voting on people's civil rights and that that has real consequences for real families and for children like ours. Initially, we had only hoped to reach the heterosexual community, but just as often we received emails from gay men and women from across the country and from around the world. Men and women from communities where you can't be gay, let alone be gay and have a family. We received messages like, help, I'm gay and I can't come out to my family, or I've just begun to deal with the fact that I'm gay after 20 years of marriage, or my favorite, in my country, there's no consideration of gay rights and we cannot adopt at all where I'm from. But these messages all had one sentiment in common. Thank you for showing us that it is possible somewhere to have the life that I never believed I could have as a gay person. That touched us, and we then understood that there was a need for the gay community to see that it is possible to be gay, to fall in love, and to build the family that you always dreamed of. 
And after hearing those messages, we will never stop fighting to show that. Supporting the Family Equality Council helps make a world where those emails never need to be written again. We hope that one day, our children will grow up in a world more tolerant for all families, regardless of who their parents may be. A world where no child grows up in despair, believing they will never get to realize the deepest dreams of their heart. We know that you want that for your children, too. So we hope you will support the Family Equality Council generously tonight to help us achieve that world. As good parents, this is how we can leave a better world for our children. In closing, we would also like to thank the YouTube community without their love and support and the near instant sharing of ideas and information that YouTube offers. This message could not reach those who need it most, everyone. And most of all, we would like to thank Daniel and Selena. Without them, our lives would be incomplete. Thank you.